Hi, this is Tom Jackson at the Sandusky Register, and we have a really nice girl to introduce mm -hmm. to our readers. Meet Hillary. Hillary. And uh, with Hillary mm -hmm. is the dog warden for Erie County, Barb Knapp, who's going to tell us all about Hillary. Hillary is something uh, <laughs> full grown, not sure what she's mixed with. Uh, was picked up in Huron Township. Um, nobody's claimed her. She didn't have a chip in her, and it's been almost five days now. So she's up for adoption. She loves to be petted. Um, she listens. She doesn't jump. She'll jump right in your car to go for a ride. And our walkers love her because you can pretty much just hold the leash by your side. She does not pull. A um, little shy when she first came in, but it was a different atmosphere. Yeah. Um, but at work, like I said, she's gotten so used to where she's at. Uh, she, she just loves everybody. She just, I, <laughs> I, whatever you want to guess breed she is with all these different colors, I, I don't know. She doesn't act like any certain kind of dog. I mean, maybe some lab in her somewhere, but she isn't going to get any bigger. All right. So, and she needs to be less bigger this way. Uh -huh. She could use some more walking. You like to go for a walk? So we don't have a definite breed, but she's a 100% yeah. charmer. Charmer, so. yeah. Yep. So she's a good dog. We only have two dogs, and actually I have another pit bull at work. His name's Sam, and he is a great dog. He is one of my one of my favorites, for one of the all time favorites we've had there. But he is he's really good natured. His only problem is he's not real good with another male dog, and it doesn't not necessarily because he's a pet. He's just he's fond of female dogs. So you get any kind of female along with him, and he'd be all right. But as we do all our dogs, we do meet and greets, so you can bring your dog and meet. Um, I think he'd be really happy just in a solo home, but um, this dog has an, uh, an unusual ability to watch everything. The dog will sit just like this one is, and his eyes will move instead of his head. So he'll look from side to side to see what's going on. And it's, you don't see that much in a dog, but he's got that great peripheral vision. You know, he'll look all the time. So good dog. Um, come out and see him. It's the only two I have left. So. All right. And Dog Warden, you are uh, modeling a shirt for us, mm -hmm. making a fashion statement by wearing right. a shirt that says, Got Tags. Mm -hmm. And what, if anything, does that shirt refer to? If anything, <laughs> it's dog license time. And we did extend it. The commissioners were good enough to let us go through the end of tomorrow, which is February 7th. So midnight tomorrow, the dog tags after midnight tomorrow, the dog tags double. So it goes from $20 to 40 And dog tags are for any dogs that are three months and older. Um, you can buy them at any of our locations that you have on your website. There's at least 26 places. And if you really can't get out because of the weather today, they do cost you a couple dollars more, but you can do it online, and it's still cheaper than having to pay the penalty. And you can do it online at the, uh, if you Google Erie County uh, mm -hmm. Dog Pound, Erie County Dog Warden, you'll pull Correct. up the website. There will be a handy list of all the places you can buy dog tags. And on that list is a link to buy your dog tag online. Isn't that correct? Yes, that's absolutely correct. All right. I don't okay. know where you got all that great information from. But please go out and buy them. It's so important. Um, we are an operation that depends on dog license money to, to operate. And uh, your dogs need it because they have no other way to tell you that they where they live unless there's a tag on there to identify them. Well, you said something interesting. You know, people in, in Erie County pay a, a uh, sales tax, mm -hmm. but uh, you don't get any of that money, do you? None. No. Your, your, your operations are paid for by the dog tags, isn't correct. that correct? And, and that is state law, so all dog pounds run like that. So you try to do the best you can to be a good business person and operate correctly, and we've tried to keep the cost of dog tags it's been almost, I think this is our fifth year for being $20. And um, we try to operate that way so that we don't have to have the dog owners come up with more money for tags. We try to operate a very slim business, a <laughs> slim budget. So we appreciate you buying them, uh, any of your neighbors or anything. Just, just tell them it's not just going into the general fund or something to that effect, like you said, tax money or anything like that. It, it, it goes directly for the animals. And let's talk a little bit about what you do as dog warden. You, uh, 
you provide a temporary home for strays mm -hmm. so that they can get adopted and have a chance to get a home. Right. Just and like you're this. and you are the uh, investigating humane officer when there are animal cruelty complaints in much of Erie County. Correct. Correct. We have the help of all the police departments under the cruelty thing, but all of the county area is solely our, our dog pound. So, um, and we need places and, and extra money to take care of those kind of situations too. We, we've had, you know, different times where we've picked up, had cats in our place, we've had turtles, we've had rabbits, and that's our, I think our latest thing was the rabbit. And we had that rabbit like five weeks, you know, but we did find a home for it. So uh, Bugsy got a place, and um, it all takes a little bit of money to do that, and to operate our shelter is, is a lot. Um, we have indoor outdoor kennels for the dogs, and if you've never seen our place, you know, please come out. And uh, if you get a dog tag and your dog does run out of the yard, dogs will do that sometimes. When a police officer finds a stray, de stray dog, I know from reading the police reports, the first thing they do is check for a tag. Yes. And if it has a tag, they will get the dog back to you. Right. And everybody says, well, my dog's microchipped. And I said, that's good, except nobody can see that microchip. It's embedded. The, and the, they put the, them about here. Yeah. The police officer is not likely to have a device in his or her car to check right. for microchips. They'll chips. end up at the pound, which we will check them for, or any of your veterinarians can check them. But then they have limited hours. So you find a dog at nighttime. With the tag, the police department, sheriff's department, everybody has that tag number. But if it's a chip, they won't find, we won't be able to check it till the morning. So if you want to get your dog back that same day, always display the dog license. If you happen to lose it any time or the dog would chew it, we do make duplicates of your dog license for $5. All right. Well, thanks for explaining that to us. All right. Thank thanks you. for coming by, Hillary.